Hi Hope Church kids! Today we are going to learn about the Tower of Babel. When the world was first created, we all spoke the same language, but then that changed. God mixed up our languages, and now we have many different languages in the world. So I thought it would be fun to show you some videos of kids saying hello in different languages. Lewa. That means hello in Yoruba. Khuya moro khande. Marhaba. Ewa. Ola. 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 Tosis. Tosis. The Tower of Babel, Genesis 11. After the great flood, God told Noah's family to spread out and fill the whole earth. Noah's family grew. Soon, more and more people were on the earth. The people moved to a valley and decided to stay there. They did not spread out and fill the whole earth. They did not obey God. They said to one another, we are great. Let's build a city together. And let's make a tower so tall that the top of the tower reaches to the sky. Then everyone will know how great we are. God created people to give him glory, but the people did not want to give God glory. They wanted to give themselves glory. Instead of saying, look how great God is, they said, look how great we are. But no one is greater than God. While the people made bricks and started building, God came down to look at the tower. He was not happy about what they were doing. God said, if they are doing this, they will keep thinking of more bad things to do. So God decided to mix up their words. When the people tried to make plans, they did not understand one another. If one workman said, hand me another brick, nobody else knew what he wanted. The people had to stop building the city. People had to move away to live with people they could understand. God made it so the people did just what he had told them to do after the flood. They spread out all over the earth. The city with the unfinished tower was called Babel. People chose to make themselves famous instead of God. God mixed up their language and the people spread out over the earth. One day, Jesus will bring his people back together. People from every group and every language will worship him together. Revelation 7, 9 to 10. Okay guys, let's do our Bible verse of the month. God saw everything he had made and it was good. Genesis 1, 31. Do you guys have that memorized yet? So now we're going to do the music video and we're going to do the craft. But we're going to do something different. We're going to show um, somebody who did a craft last week. And each week we're going to show the craft. So if you guys do a craft and you want to show us your craft, send it to me. Or you can contact us at the Hope Church website. And so this week it's River. So River did his craft and it looks great. Thanks for sharing that River. Have a really good week guys and I will see you later. Sycamore tree for the Lord he wanted to see.
And as the Savior passed that way, he looked up in the tree, and he said, Zacchaeus, you come down. For I'm going to your house today. For I'm going to your house today. Please all the stories in the Bible. Today. We have two activities for you. The first one is the one Jane is showing you. This is Kirk's. This You will find this in your craft kit. It's a picture that you can color of the Tower of Babel. And when you finish, you can put it in your binder to help you remember this story. And then, after that, we have an activity for you to do. So, I have another special guest who is going to show you. Yeah, I did it. I Mommy! Mommy, I'm here. But somebody else is going to show them the activity. Do you know who it is? It's God! Yeah, let's see. Hey, everybody. I've got a special guest, and it's Pastor Dustin. And he's here to help us with the class video today. And it's about the Tower of Babel. It is, and thank you, Kirk, for letting me help with your craft, because I love building things with Kirk. And he said I'm Pastor Dustin, but I'm also his daddy. So we, we often build things with blocks and Legos and all kind of stuff here at the house. We even built a snow fort, didn't we? When we had that big snow about a month ago, well, we built a big snow fort. Or, I or was, tunnel. Well, I was trying to build a castle, but I just gave up because it was too much work. And the neighbors built a better one, so I just gave up. We're, we're enjoying the neighbor's better snow castle. But anyways, today your lesson is about the Tower of Babel. And so if you have your craft kit, this is a bag that looks like this. Inside of it, you'll find a bunch of cups, a bunch of white cups. So take out all those white cups. You'll also find this interesting looking toothpick. 
I don't think it's really a toothpick. I think it's for something else. But it's kind of sharp on the end, so you want your parents to help you, and it's flat on the top. You need to get this, and you also need like a piece of construction paper. Maybe um, any color you want, because we're going to make a flag out of this. So, Kirk, let's uh, go ahead and start building our tower, and then we can kind of talk about the story a little bit. Now, before you start stacking the cups, there are some things you can do. Kirk, show them the one that you started to color a little bit. Let's show them that cup. Yeah, yeah, I saw the colors. So you can you can take your their plain white cups, but you can decorate them. So maybe you want to draw a window on your cup, like a little square window, or maybe like this one, you can make it look like stones. See, it looks like gray stones. And then I did one that looks like red bricks, just little squares drawn around. So you can color and decorate them how you want. You can even draw some faces on there, like people looking out the window saying, "Hey, down there, I'm at the top of the tower." <laughs> That'd be kind of fun. Okay, so first we want to show you how to first make the flag because that will be the one you put on top. So here's our flag cup. We want to show you how you make it. So what you get, you get your stick, and once you get uh, any piece of paper, you can even deck. You can draw something on the paper. You just need a little slip of paper about this, about this long. You kind of fold it in half. And what you want to do is you want to stick it on the end of the long stick, just like that. So I stick it here, and then I'm gonna get a piece of tape. Oh, Kirk, you're already building the tower. That's pretty cool. Get a piece of tape, and have one of your parents, or we can even use glue, but have one of your parents kind of just tape the top, and it keeps it all together. And then you can put a piece around the bottom that keeps it attached to the stick. Just like this. So there, we just made a little flag. So you can stick it on top of the top cup, and then you can stack it up on top. There you go. Now, now, Kurt, let's talk about the Tower of Babel. What were the people trying to do in building a really tall tower? Um, they were trying to reach up to heaven without a savior helping them. Oh, they were trying to get to heaven on their own power, weren't they? They thought that if they could build a really tall tower, that they could get all the way to heaven and be like God, right? But what's the only way that we can get to heaven and be with God? If God helps us. That's right. And <laughs> look at that. Wow, well, Kirk, we've got more cups. Let's keep, let's keep stacking cups. So you can stack this however you want to. You can do it kind of like a pyramid like Kirk is doing. Or you could even make them kind of a, a rounded one where you kind of stack them like in a square at the bottom. So I'm trying to do a little creative one. And then you put this one here this one here and then kind of one on top and then oh i need my my flag pop it right in i'm gonna put it right on top so see kirk where, where'd you go uh hello kirk oh there he is well thank you for helping us with the cup tower of babel today and kirk thanks for letting me be your special guest can you <laughs> can you look above your tower and tell everyone bye Bye! Bye! We hope you enjoyed building your tower this week.